Hey there, this is Sarah Ayler with Softlux Company and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about using a button for a clasp rather than a traditional clasp. So this is a really neat and fun way that you can finish off a bracelet or a necklace. You can use it in the front or the back, um, but it is a good way to create a closure and you can use all sorts of different buttons. This is one that I have from Tierra Cast. And then there's a few more uh, Tierra cast options over here. So there's like a nice skull that you could use for a Halloween design. There is a um, sand dollar if you're doing more of a beach design. I chose this just really beautiful um, sort of a flowery design for the bracelet that I'm making today. Um, but you could by all means use vintage buttons, um, anything that you have just hanging out around your house. Um, and I'm using one that has the bezel on the back, but you could definitely still use one uh, that has a, some holes in the center as well. So I went ahead and strung my designs, and you'll see that I took some medium soft flex in the 019 diameter. I strung um, through a 2x2 two two crimp tube, a soft flex crimp tube. I strung two size 11 seed beads, and then... Um, the button and then two more seed beads and went back into the crimp tube. I crimped that down with a pair of magical crimpers, which I'll be showing you on the other end. And then I strung a size 11 seed bead and eight millimeter, um, excuse me, a six millimeter a crystal, another size 11 seed bead and eight millimeter graphic cube crystal and I used that same pattern all the way down the bracelet. When I got to the other end, I strung the wire again through another two by two crimp tube, and then I strung a whole bunch of seed beads. You wanna use uh, the right amount that is gonna fit over the top of your button, so you may have to play around with it. You want it to sort of tightly fit over the top of the button. So I strung a bunch of seed beads on and then I actually ended up taking a couple off because you want it to fit real tightly around that button when it's closed so it's not going to slip or slide off. It's sort of the same idea as a toggle clasp, using the button as the toggle bar and actually using the wire as the um, toggle loop. Okay, so I strung all those seed beads and then I went back into the crimp tube. Here's my extra wire. And now I'm just going to go ahead and crimp that off. So I want the wires to lay side by side so that I get a nice straight connection. These magical crimpers are fantastic and you can find some close-up directions on our website. Um, but we'll post some here in the video as well. There are two little holes that are identical on either side of the plier. And these two by two crimp tubes, it's the only size that works with them, fit perfectly in the center of those holes. It's like a little dome. I'm going to compress. And when I compress, it pinches the four corners of my crimp tube, making it into sort of a little square. And then I'm going to push it on its side in that same dome inside the crimping pliers and compress again. And I like to go around it a couple times just compressing and spinning, tightening down that crimp tube. So as a tube, I'm actually pinching the edges down into the nylon coating of the beading wire and that's what helps it secure and not slip or slide around. Due to our particular nylon that we coat with, it works really well with our Softlex beading wire. And it also works well with our Softlex crimp tubes, which are twice the thickness of most on the market. They're also completely seamless, so they're really thick and strong. And then at this point, when I feel like it's nice and tight, I can go ahead and take my flush cutter right up next to that crimp and I can snip it off. And then you'll see this slides right over the top of my button. And I've got a really nice closure that isn't your typical uh, clasp, but it looks beautiful. It's gonna add like a special design element to this particular piece, and it would look beautiful on a necklace as well. So 
I hope you enjoyed this video learning how to make a closure using a button bead and our Softflex beading wire. If you did like the video, please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel or like our Facebook page. We post a new video just about every week when we can. And um, you can also find out more about our products by visiting our website, which is www.softflexcompany.com.